Good morning, good morning world. Good morning, all nations, all people, all tongue. Good morning, every man, woman, boy, and girl living and breathing in the face of this earth. Thank you for watching the videos, and I pray that you are being encouraged by the videos. If so, please tell someone else. For our YouTube viewers, please click the bell and subscribe, and thank you for, to our Facebook viewers. I pray that these videos will reach all across the face of this earth and all over the world, encouraging the body of Christ and winning souls to Jesus Christ. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Here is a fresh drink of water for you from the Holy Spirit. Enjoy! I will be reading from the King James Version of the Bible, and our topic today is Abide in Me. The me is Jesus Christ. John 15, 1 through 7. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in that, every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. If we do not bear fruit in Jesus Christ, God take away our standing. And every branch that bear fruit, he purges it. That means that we are going to go through some trials and tests because we are being purged. The old man has passed away. We are walking in a new creation. We, the flesh has to die daily. We are being purged that it bring, that it may bring forth more fruit. Our flesh have to die daily so that we can bring more fruit, disciples, disciple others to Jesus, in Jesus Christ. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. The topic of this message is abide in my word. We are cleansed through the word. It's so important to read the Bible, to read the word of God every single day, even if it's just one verse. Abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. We can't go around spewing out things out of our mouth that is not of Jesus Christ while we walk in Jesus Christ. Except if it abide in the vine... No more can ye accept ye abide in me. I am the vine, and ye are the branches. He that abide in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. Without God we can do nothing. Without Jesus we can do nothing. Without the Holy Spirit we can do nothing. We have to be discipled so that we can disciple others. Pray and ask God to lead you to the church home he would have you to go to. Not the one your family members go to or your friends go to. Pray and ask God to uh, help you to know which preachers to listen to. On the social medias. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. If we have given our lives to Jesus Christ and we are not growing, that means we are withering away, going more towards Satan's way and the flesh. And men gather therein and cast them into the fire and they are burned. When we are withering away from God and more, looking more towards the world and lusting more after the flesh and the cares of this world, we are, are distancing ourselves from Jesus Christ. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you. We have to walk by faith and not by sight. We have to believe when we pray. We have to believe that it is done. Because he said right here, when we pray to the Father, ask 
in the name of Jesus. And we believe by faith and it shall be done. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, if the word of God, the Bible, abides in us, we shall ask what we will, and it shall be done. So how can the words abide in us if we are not reading the word of God? If we're not putting it on the inside, if we're not taking it and making a stand with it, how can it abide in us if we're not reading it? A lot of Christians do not read the Bible. They leave it to the preacher. And then when things go all kinds of wrong, where is your weapon? The word of God is our, is our weapon. This is how the body of Christ, a new creation, this is how we live through the word of God, which protects us. Thank you for listening. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Be good to yourself and someone else.